EA dropped the greatest team of the week of all time, in my opinion. What's going on, guys? Thrashback here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. Yesterday, EA dropped a brand new team of the week that I had nothing to do with whatsoever. Nothing. And I can say the same thing for one of my best friends in the community, Henrique. He also had nothing to do with this team of the week. That being said, EA must have read our minds and chosen some great players for the team of the week because it is awesome. First of all, we've got 99 Kyle Connor, 97 Nick Suzuki, and 96 Tyler Sagan. That's an okay line, but line two, 99 Lucas Raymond, 99 Elias Pedersen, and 96 Tyler Bertuzzi. That looks pretty damn good to me. Then we've got line number three, which looks just as good with Gustav Nyquist, Michael Rasmussen, and Jordan Greenway. Who would have thought that Jordan Greenway would have made himself a card here in NHL 22? And of course, we have Tim Stutzla, Adam Henrique, and Blake Coleman. So a pretty solid forward core here for sure. If I have to, if I have to say anything, I think the best cards here are definitely Raymond, Pedersen, Bertuzzi, Nyquist, Resmussen, and Creamway. Uh, there's some other really good cards available as well, but those are probably the best, uh, the best two lines right there. On defense, we've got Aaron Ekblad and Siegenf Jonas Siegenthaler. Uh, uh, I guess they're all right. But then, number two, Danny DeKaiser and Carson Soucy. Of course, that's just so, so much better. And here on line three, we've got Larry Murphy and Adam Pellick. Meh. And that this week, we've got Curtis Joseph and Mackenzie Blackwood. An absolutely awesome team of the week. Absolutely not brought to you by me and Henrique. In reality, this is actually a really awesome team of the week for, for players like me and Henrique. Um, I, I, I can't directly say shit, but I absolutely love this team of the week. Uh, Lucas Raymond finally getting his 99. Pedersen, one of my favorite players in the game. And Tyler Bertuzzi finally getting a card above, what, 93 or something? He's been shafted all year after having a really good season. Uh, Gustav Nyquist, one of my favorite players on the wings for a very long time. Michael Rasmussen here, 6'6", six six, 93 acceleration, 95 speed. This card is going to be awesome. I cannot wait to try him out. And Jordan Greenway, EA Hawk himself, but not really. It's not actually EA Hawk, but for some reason, this is a meme on my channel. It has stuck for a very long time, and it's probably not going anywhere. Of course, Stutzla, Henrik, and Coleman are all pretty solid. Connor, Suzuki, and Sagan as well. Very good cards. And on defense, Aaron Ekblad, the guy from Windsor himself, and uh, Siegenthaler here. Of course, uh, Henrik probably really likes that one. Danny DeKaiser, again, had to have him on this, all right? He... I have no reason to have this Danny DeKaiser card. I already have his 99, but like no one else is getting that 99. Now you have a chance to get a good Danny DeKaiser card for your team. Six foot three defenseman, 94 speed in Excel. Actually looks like a pretty damn good card with gold shutdown too. So if you need a good defensive player, Danny DeKaiser about 10 years ago was pretty solid. Of course, Carson Susie, the former captain of Hut Warriors in season one. Of course, I had to see if he would be in here. I didn't have anything to do with the team of the week. And of course, Larry Murphy, who I believe deserves a much better card this year. Absolutely awesome looking. I don't really understand how he's only a 92 overall, because if you look, uh, all of his stats are pretty damn solid. So I think they may have gotten the overall wrong. Maybe it's because his face-offs are 59. But in reality, this is going to be an awesome card to use. And of course, Adam Pellick. I uh, did not have anything to do with Adam Pellick being on this team of the week, but he's probably an okay card. He looks decent. Now, unfortunately, uh, Ben Bishop was not in the team of the week this week, so instead, Curtis Joseph is, and I kind of like it, honestly. Uh, Osgood just had one not too long ago, so of course, Chris Osgood can't be getting another card, so Curtis Joseph slots in with goal post to post. He's got Contortionist. This is going to be a really fun card to use, and of course, Mackenzie Blackwood there for you. So let's go ahead, open up a couple packs, and try and pull some of the team of the week cards. Now, when I say open up a couple packs, um, I'm not meaning normal packs. No, no absolutely not. You see, at 12 o'clock today, EA dropped the premium ultimate pack 20 items and 20 guaranteed 82 or better with a 33 percent chance at a 95 or better let's see if we can pull any of these new team of the week cards here today uh, i think there are some other really good cards available in the store or in the auction house as well here uh on the main menu you can see we got obviously the team of the week the mighty dragon crabs what a name what a name <laughs> we've got all these free agency cards and uh, more free agency cards, and we've got all of these guys with Wyatt Johnson, the former, or I guess current Spitfire, but probably not going to be on the Spitfires next year. Uh, some pretty good cards there as well. And of course, we've got 99 Bunting, 97 Caulfield, and all these guys, including a 91 Ned. Wouldn't mind getting my hands on him as well. So any of these cards that I can pull, I'll be very happy with. Let's open up a premium ultimate pack, see how this does. Uh, if I don't get at least five purples, I'm probably going to cry. So give me some of these Team of the Week cards, man that I had nothing to do with. Give me a couple of them in this pack. We got, okay, we got Vrana to start it off. Not bad. 
Hopefully he has a monster season. There's Kyle Connor, but not the 99 edition, of course. Bang! Brandon Badek, our first purple pull of the day at 90 overall. What's going on? Okay, good to see you, bud. We've got Cal Peterson. Andre Kasha, another decent card. 91 overall, second purple here. Not too bad, but again, uh, not really anything I'm looking for. It's not part of the team of the week. He's not a Red Wing. Don't really care. We've got Thomas Hurdle. Robin Leonard. Jake Voracek. What's up, buddy? Uh, Chris Letang. Jeff Petrie. Trevor Lewis, our third free agency card here. We're going up in overall, 90 to 91 now. 92 overall. Uh, looks like a decent card again. I mean, it's value back at least. That, that's the that's the promising thing. It's value coming back. It's just a matter of uh, how much of it because it's not going to be 200k like the like the pack costs. There's Kevin Stentland, another 90 overall. So that's four purples. Uh, not great. Adam Fox, what's up? Erickson Eck, hello. John Carlson, hi. How have we not gotten a Team of the Week card here? Demko, Provorov, Team of the Week. Met. That's incorrect. He's not part of the Team of the Week, EA. I... What? All right, well, that was weird. We shouldn't have pulled that card, but let's open up another Premium Ultimate Pack and see if we can get something a little bit better. Maybe a current Team of the Week? I, I don't even know when that Perot card was out. Was that last week? Was that three weeks ago? I have no idea. So, uh, Premium Ultimate Pack number two here. Let's see if we can do a little bit better. Card number one is an icon. Interesting. Okay, let's uh, find out what this is. Four cups, ten art rocks. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap. I just pulled Wayne Gretzky. Holy crap. That's, uh, that's a pretty damn big pull at this point in the year anyways. Wayne Gretzky would have been nice to pull him a few months ago. But still, Wayne Gretzky, the first card in this pack. That is, uh, that is definitely interesting. Cool, cool. All right, card number two. We've got Matt Dumba. And Jeff Petrie and Kevin Fiala. Okay, we have fallen from grace very quickly from Gretzky to Fiala. Next up, we've got Jaden Schwartz. Uh-oh. Vander Kane. JVR. Okay, when's the last time we got anything that was uh, the only non-82 is Gretzky? All right. Gensel. Falk. Guys. Okay, Dougie Hamilton in 83. There's an 84. Nikita Kucherov is our only purple of the pack so far. There's only five cards left. At least we got a purple. And we got Gretzky. Can't be upset. Dylan Larkin, my captain. Tyler Sagan, who has the Team of the Week card. And the final card in the pack. Sergey Bobrovsky. That pack was absolutely terrible, but we ended up getting Wayne Gretzky. I don't know what he sells for. I honestly have no clue. But he could end up paying for the pack. If, if that's the case, I'm very happy. All right, guys. If I can do an ultimate pack, I will. I'm just going to double check if I can do it before opening it. I cannot, unfortunately, open another ultimate pack. That is a shame. I have to wait for things to sell, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to call it a video there, and then in the next one or sometime later this weekend, we'll do this again and try and pull these Team of the Week cards, as I opened two Premium Ultimate Packs and didn't get a single current Team of the Week player. That is certainly uh, kind of sad. There is absolutely zero Mighty Dragon Crabs in my packs. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and let me know down below what you think of the brand new Team of the Week. I thought it was pretty good, but you guys let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay frosty.